When it comes to designing a van, you get to do whatever you want, because as grown adults, this is like building the ultimate fort, which means we can do whatever we want, it's our own money that we earned. Today, I want to introduce you to Eric, which turned half of the inside of this giant sprinter van into one huge kitchen. Hi guys, I'm Eric from Eric's Vegan Van on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, this is my 2015 Sprinter that I've been living in for a little over two years. It's a 144 inch wheelbase and I want to show you the inside. Come on with me. I love it that he dedicated 50% of his home to something that he loves doing. The rest of it just got shoved on the other side of the van and tried to make it fit. I think it's pretty awesome that you can make your home whatever you want. A big part of my existence in the van is cooking, uh, either for myself or just for my channel, a couple videos. Um, so I have the whole passenger side of my van is his kitchen, basically. So I got just a basket from an old caravan here that I usually throw my bread products or random stuff. My upper cabinets, I have good catch. I have my, my dishes and medicine cabinet stuff in this cabinet. Uh, and then I have three more cabinets that are just various food supplies stacked up. Some of them aren't that crazy. This one's just bigger bulk containers. And then the back one is just more sauces and random stuff. So I have a lot of counter space. It's two blocks from Home Depot. You can see right here is the separation from the back one. It's solid birch. Uh, in the back section here, I have a three burner stove and an oven. A lot of people seem to be jealous with the oven. Inside, I happen to keep my frying pans and my big pots stored, so makes a great cabinet space as well. Drawers here, I have all kinds of plastic storage in this for containers I need, but the rest of my pots, cooking utensils, blender topper in this drawer. Two of my four batteries are underneath here. In here, we got several drawers, utensils, and spices for cooking. Spices. So, there's just a few. <laughs> just a couple. Just a few spices there. And then just a typical kitchen junk drawer with charging cables and, and random stuff. Under here, I have an instant pot. The Instant Pot was a purchase I made specifically for van life. I figured I'd be able to cook up beans, rice, whatever in that. And the sink was something that I purchased specifically a size that was big enough to hold the Instant Pot. So I put the Instant Pot inside the sink when I'm driving and let it cook away. Um, sink, taps, soap, all from the Amazon. Kitchen and van, in general was made by Amazon, I think, so. <laughs> I, I assembled things like Ikea. Ikea, knife strip, or magnetic strip for knives. Don't worry about your knives on that thing. I've hit some atrocious bumps. Nothing has ever fallen off that. On the other side of the van, we got a closet area, so I hang up some random coats, uh, gym bag for showers and stuff, laundry bag and then shovels and snow brushes. 110 liter fridge from Dometic. Um, it works nice, holds all kinds of food. Uh, it's up off the ground for two reasons. It makes it easier to get into without having to crouch down, but it's also located where my wheel well is. So I actually had to lift it up above that. Up top is just more random storage. Ceiling fan. It's in the back of my van. The only other openings that I have are with the windows and my doors. So this allows for airflow all the way from the front to the back. Also located where my stove is. More circulation in the back. The Caframo fan back here that uh, I either use just to blow the heat around so it evens out or help cool things off in the summer. Uh, we come forward a bit. We got cabinets above. For clothing all of them equipped with slam latches the same as the lower cabinets 
You never have to worry about locking your cabinets closed. As soon as you close the door, it's latched. It's not going to open on you. Here on the driver's side and behind the driver's seat uh, is my couch. It doubles as my bed at night. I can just quickly pull it out. It drops down. It's a single size mattress that's that's cut down to, to make the back and the bottom. Uh, it's been more than comfortable for me. And underneath it, I have all kinds of storage as well. So these folding crates just slide in and out. All kinds of extra storage under there for food or tools or parts. So I have three of those crates and a milk crate. A TV screen here. So it's just a small 12 inch, 12 volt TV screen that I run a media player through. So TV shows, movies, whatever I can watch. problem with them is one of these handles this one didn't work from day one I can't turn it on the bolt and then this one stopped working six months after I started using it or so and they're like locked up I can't loosen or tighten them <laughs> so I've been in the van well this is my second full winter I don't consider it winter here and the BC coast but last year I spent the winter in Nova Scotia and it does get kind of cold so I did insulate the van half decently knowing that I was going to be in it full time during the winter I spray foamed it and some parts here that are still exposed I just painted gray to match the rest of the, the walls and ceilings um, but it is spray foam from front to back except for the doors the doors are rock wool just so that I can get to the mechanics if I need it uh, I do have an S-Bar D2 heater that I plumbed into the fuel tank uh, to, to heat this. It keeps the van more than toasty all winter long without any kind of problems. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, so um, since you've been in the van for a fair amount of time, your Instagram shows a lot of you showing people how easy it is to park. Is it really that easy? It is easy. Uh, yeah, every morning, well not every morning, but quite often when I'm in a new spot, I'll take a couple pictures out of the front of my van before I get going, if it's light enough. And to, to show people where I park, because it is a big question that a lot of van lifers get, is where do you park? So so I just started posting pictures of, of where I park to show people. And, and it is that easy. Usually I'll go and take two minutes, I'll look at Google Maps, I'll try and find a park or an industrial area. And often you'll see rows of cars parked there in the satellite maps. And, and I'll just go and check it out. And if it's fairly level and there's no parking restrictions, I just pull over and park for the night. Next morning I'm gone. I'm looking for Wi-Fi for work or off doing something else. As I mentioned, cooking in my van is, is a big thing for me. I, uh, I've been vegan for just over three years now. Trying to eat healthier, trying to lose weight, lowered my blood pressure. Um, but, you know, a lot of people too might be interested in how you can cook in a van, in a small space. I do have a lot more space than a lot of people, but I typically only use one burner on the stove, to be honest, uh, for most of my cooking. So you can cook in a small space. And if you want to see some cooking in a small space or some ideas for uh, plant-based eating or vegan eating, uh, you can follow me on my YouTube channel, Eric's Vegan Van, and, and hopefully I can help you out. Uh, if you got some questions on what to eat or what you can make in a small space or what you can do besides fast food or packaged foods or whatever um, I'd love to help you guys out so stop on by the channel uh, subscribe so you don't miss the videos and uh, and hopefully I'll see you over there so thanks a lot for coming and checking out my van and I hope to see you guys out on the road sometime
Later. I hope you guys find these van tours as inspiring as me. I really enjoy meeting all these people that have taken the leap to live in a small little space and I really love seeing the diversity of people and the creativity that they use to make that space work for them and their life. If you enjoy these van tours, I have an entire playlist on my channel devoted to them. Um, I'll leave the links right down below in the video description. I'll also leave the links so you guys can follow Eric on his YouTube channel. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and Eric, thanks for showing us your home and I'll see you down the road. Alright guys, safe travels, see you soon.